Welcome, today we'll be going through how to swap a hard drive on a Posiflex XT3815. So before we get started, the only tool you'll need for this job is a single Phillips head screwdriver and you will need your replacement drive as well. So I've got one here, there's one already in this unit that we're going to swap out with this one. So the hard drive caddy is located on the top of the screen here. So for simplicity reason, I'm going to flip this Posiflex onto its screen. All right, so now that we're at the top, you can see here we've got two holes for the caddy. So if I put the screwdriver in, I should be able to unscrew it. And this just lifts off. Now, inside here, I'm just going to zoom in. You'll see we have a caddy itself and this metal plate on top. So there is a little grip there on the metal plate. You just have to pull with a bit of force to get it out. And then there's your hard drive and it just slides out. So it's as simple as that to get it out. And then all we have to do is transfer that metal plate to the other hard drive. So I'll take this off, so there it is. So there is our metal thing separate from our hard drive. So that's the original one that was in this box. Put it to the side and I'll grab our replacement drive, which is this. So this is a slightly higher capacity that we're putting in. Now you can see up the top here, we have our connectors. Now that's what goes into the unit. So when it comes to this, we are going to put this on the opposite end of the drive to our connectors. Now you can see here, we've got two holes on either side. So you wanna line that up with our new metal plate. And on the metal plate is this lip just here. Now that's what I used to grip to get it out of its hole. So what we'll do is we'll grab our screws and screw them in. So, all right, so now that we've got it fitted, just tighten the screws. It doesn't have to be tightened all the way, just enough so that that is firm and doesn't rattle with the hard drive. So once that's done, flip it so that the connectors are facing you, align it and slide it in. Now it will take a little bit of wiggling once it gets to this point. There you go, and done. So that's the new hard drive put in with the new mount. And then all we have to do is take our plastic shielding from earlier, put it in place and tighten that down. And done. So you can see there, that's not lifting anymore. It's all screwed in, all done. At that point, you would turn your unit on and off you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I'll see you next time. Cheers.